In the previous video, we learned about two methods of comparing various quantities. The difference method and the division method. And we concluded that when we go for division method to compare two quantities, the resulting numbers are smaller. Now, when we compare quantities using division, that leads to ratio. That is what essentially ratio is. Ratio simply means comparison of quantities using the division method. So ratio simply equated to comparing two quantities using division. And in other words, ratio can be defined as how many times is one quantity larger or smaller than the other. Okay, just try to think over about this. How many times? How many times? That is what is more important because that is what the division leads us to. In other words, it is comparison of one quantity with re reference to another quantity. That is, we take one quantity as a reference and the other quantity is compared to that reference. So that is what simply a ratio is. Now this idea of comparing of one quantity with reference to another quantity becomes clearer when we take an example. So let us say that the cost of a pen is rupees 10 and that of a pencil is rupees 2. Now we want to find out ratio of the cost of a pen to the cost of a pencil. See this is where the relativity comes. Cost of a pen to the cost of a pencil. So what do we do is we simply take 10 rupees 10 which is the cost of a pen and we divide it by the cost of a pencil which is 2 and when we simplify this we get 5 by 1. Now this resulting comparison 5 by 1 what does it mean what is the meaning of it it means that the cost of a pen is 5 times the cost of a pencil. So I guess now this makes it more clearer we are representing the pen in terms the cost of a pen in terms of the cost of a pencil five times the cost of the pencil right comparing one quantity in reference to other that is we are comparing or we are we are representing the cost of a pen in terms of cost of a pencil okay and the way we represent it is here. So we, we, we got this as phi by 1. Now this is a fractional representation. The other representation is this phi is to 1 and this we pronounced as phi is to 1. So this so these are the two ways of representing a ratio. Either it is phi by 1 or phi is to 1. In order for us to be precisely sure that we are actually talking about just ratios and not fractions we generally use 5 is to 1 that is a better way and more precise way of telling that this is a ratio 5 by 1 will which is a fraction will will definitely come when we are you know using numbers to divide so for example in this case we got 5 by 1 but the more precise representation is 5 is to 1 okay now let us have a look at it from a different angle what we did I mean I told you that ratio is nothing but trying to compare one quantity in reference to another so if you see here what what we did in our previous or this example is that we compared the cost of a pen which is rupees 10 to the cost of a pencil okay and now if I have a look at these two prices 10 versus 2 so 10 is a bigger number and 2 is a smaller number but when I say I want to compare one quantity versus the other can I compare the price of a pencil right in relation to the price of a pen or in relation to the cost of a pen that is we simply change the numerator and the denominator so we are saying that we want to find out the ratio of cost of a pencil to the cost of a pen now cost of a pencil was 2 rupees and that of a pen is 10 so the ratio will be 2 comes in the numerator and the cost of a pen comes in the denominator and we get 1 by 5 now the first ratio which was the ratio of the pen to the pencil was 5 is to 1 and now we this ratio is 1 is to 5 
what does it mean it means that the cost of a pencil is one fifth of the cost of a pen which is pr pretty i mean which is logical because we know that the cost of a pen is much higher than the cost of a pencil as is given by the numbers